So this is Sandy Town Road. Uh, it's, uh, this area is a nor notoriously inexpensive area to live. Uh, Carl lives right on Sandy Town Road. About uh, another kilometer north, farther north um, than Henry, so about a 12 minute walk um, farther north up of Boykow Road. What's up, Carl? Hey, man. Doing well? How you doing? Hold on a sec. <laughs> what madness is this? It's peaceful morning that awaits and that well that wakes me up actually. Cool. This is where I wash all my clothes. Alright. Lovely ladies. They take care of my fine fabrics. So, Alright, let's check out your apartment. Yeah, come on. Here. Oh, so you're actually in this building here. Yeah. Did you walk uh, up, up here? Yeah. I walked from Henry's. So how did you find this place? Um, funny story. Uh, when I... So when I uh, arrived in Chiang Mai, I was uh, living in a hostel in Old City with a friend. So I was looking, I was I didn't want to spend much time there. I rented a motorbike and scouted some areas uh, that I found on YouTube. I, you know, I, I wrote uh, cheap places from Chiang Mai. Uh -huh. And I found this uh, banana guy, Sun Dan, I think. He was seeing this area, Santi Tham. It was uh, at really affordable prices. So with the motorbike, I was just like going everywhere, knocking out on some of those um, apartments. I think that one, Empress one. And no one seemed to respond. It was a hot day like this. And, uh, uh welcome. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> yeah, so it was a hot day like this. I was sweaty. I didn't find an apartment and I didn't want to stay at that hostel longer. Yeah. So I just, uh, I stopped at a restaurant, local restaurant near here, and I met this Thai lady that became my Thai mommy. She just took instantly care of me, cooked me some meals, um, and was like, what are you looking for? Like, oh, I'm looking for a cheap place to live. I was expecting to pay something like 2,500 baht or something less, and she found me this landlord, uh, put me up with this landlord uh, that like charged me like 1.7K. So you month. pay 1,700 baht per month. Yeah, and I actually managed to lower it to six, 1,600. Oh man. Because I, I paid for three months. Oh, good. So I've been living here for five months now. And, uh, yeah, man. I mean, it's, it's not much, but it's pretty little. Well, what it goes to show you is that there's places out there that aren't necessarily advertised, right? That you can find. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you make friends. Them. You gotta make friends. There you go. Sometimes you just gotta hit the streets and grind. Yeah. <laughs> um, Feel free to, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's check out your bathroom. The, f the famous squat toilet. That's right, squat toilet. <laughs> so Shower. You, you guys don't know, but some of my friends have been, uh, have been, uh, how do you say, ta ta not taunting, but. Yeah, they're making fun of you. Yeah, because I always like sit like this <laughs> when I'm waiting. Yeah. They're like, oh, you're like just shitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what are the top two or three things you like best about this place here? Well, I really like, I mean, to me, to, we, to me, I, I, I had an, an, 
a really better transition. I mean, I came from uh, my parents' basement to here, having my own place, you know, it's really l low risk for me, for a huge growth. So I would say just living here <clears throat> in Chiang Mai has been like great for me. Um, other than that, I mean, I think it's a really cool location, like really local. Um, a lot of students live here. Um, there's, yeah, I mean, there's action on the street. I just like, I go out and there's already like stuff happening because this is a main street. Satizam is actually a main street. I have a few, I have a vegan restaurant. I go every day. I don't have to uh, go much, fo much far to find good food. I'm really happy here. What's the number one drawback? Drawback? Um, I mean, it may, maybe like some in, some sort of. Uh, I mean, I had like two negative experiences. <clears throat> My first month, there was a few bugs here, but like I had a few surprises. But I just put some, you know, insect repellent, and I've never had problems ever since. So that that's solved. And <clears throat> I wanted to invite a girl once that felt kind of intimidated because she was like a really classy woman. Uh, and I mean, I had like this really uh, modest apartment. So <clears throat> I, w I was a bit intimidated, but then again, I realized that's bullshit because most of the time people just want to have a good time with you. And if you're confident about where you're living, now that's the case. Well, there's no problem, honestly, yeah. Right on, man. Well, there you go. <coughs> so here we are in Chiang Mai, bringing you a whole range of different places for different budgets. Um, this is the cheapest place I've seen, I have to admit. <laughs> I'm me. kind of jealous. Beat my <laughs> record, man. <laughs> yeah, man, what, what kind of rent can you find? Hit us up down in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, I'd be, pre I'd be pretty, pretty pleased to, uh, to see if someone can beat my record, because so far, <laughs> I've never met someone, even the Thai people, when I tell them how much I pay, they're like, what? So cheap. So come on. Be you heard it. <laughs> All right, man, you heard it here first. <laughs>